And now, your first alert five weather. We're watching weather all across Colorado with our network of live sky cameras. That's the Wolf Creek ski area. They got hammered today. In fact, so much snow, the ski area is going to open tomorrow. They picked up 20 inches of snow right there in the past 24 hours. Love Colorado weather. It's a live look downtown Colorado Springs. It's cloudy, a little breezy. Out at the airport, there's a north wind at 17. That creates a feels like index. You poke your nose out the door. 26 is what it feels like right now. Live in downtown Pueblo, you've also got cloudy skies. Colder air has pushed in. North wind at 15 makes it feel like 38 degrees. Here's what's going on. Give you the first alert on this storm system late last week and there it is cranking up near the four corners right now. Most of the snow falling across northern Colorado and also western Colorado. You can see a pretty good hole, little cavity right there across the southeastern portion of the state just missing us and we're certainly not going to see a whole lot of snow. I think if we're lucky, emphasis on the word lucky, maybe land Landing one to two inches of snow between now and tomorrow morning. Northern El Paso County along the Palmer Divide up into Teller County. Of course, slick spots coming with that possible snowfall. Traces snow possible across the uh, Springs area, especially on the north end. Pueblo, you're going to get left out once again. And as that band of snow sets up across the lower Arkansas Valley, I think La Junta, you could actually get anywhere from one to three inches of snow by noon tomorrow. Still have a winter weather advisory for far western El Paso County into Teller County. Slick spots certainly going to be a problem in those areas if that snow does materialize. Also have those advisories along the Sangre de Cristo Mountains. Going to see some real good snow continue across those areas. I think the San Juans and the Sangres could get an additional three to six inches of snow by tomorrow morning, and there's wind to go along with it, just complicating travel over those high mountain passes. Here's what's going to happen tomorrow, 7 a.m. We're dry in the springs in Pueblo. There's that band of snow, and I think it's going to be fairly persistent just sitting out there much of tomorrow morning. By noon, we're seeing that drier air start to punch in. Going to see sunshine breaks across Colorado Springs as early as noon and then we will see sunshine all across the viewing area tomorrow for that drive at five. Kicking off those high school football games tomorrow at seven. If you're going to one of those games, dress warmly. It's going to be clear and it will be cold. Here's how cold we get tonight. Dropping back into the 20s over most parts of the News 5 viewing area. Inch up the thermostat, throw another blanket on the bed. Temperatures tomorrow into the 40s around here, but factor in a light breeze out of the north anywhere from 10 to 15 miles per hour and it's going to feel colder than that. So if you're sensitive to the cold, you'll certainly want to bundle up. Here's your super seven day forecast. Wind chill is going to be the focus tomorrow morning in the springs. 8 a.m. It will feel like 12 degrees, warming a little by 10. Even by uh, tomorrow afternoon, wind chills only right around the freezing mark. Then a downslope flow kicks in early Saturday morning, scours out the cold air. We're back into the 60s on Saturday. A little setback on Sunday. 56 is still pretty tame for this time of the year. Breezy wind, a mild downslope wind again on Tuesday. That'll make Tuesday the warmest day of the next seven for Pueblo. Chilly tomorrow, but hang tough. You'll be 25 degrees warmer on Saturday. That dramatic warm up will be a product of a strong downslope flow, that compressional heating coming down the mountains. Still mild on Sunday, and of course, the bonus on Sunday, everybody gets an extra hour of sleep as we turn the clocks back, head back to standard time. Canyon City dry and brisk tomorrow. A mild first weekend in November. That west wind warms you quickly on Saturday. Pretty boring pattern through Thursday. Boring but beautiful up in Woodland Park. Look out for some icy spots early tomorrow morning for that commute. Certainly going to be a cold day. Firewood, furnaces, and flannels, uh, certainly much needed commodities tomorrow, then much warmer by Saturday, and I've got you dry for the next seven days. Time for traffic here on News 5, a crash on Academy northbound just past Jet Wing. Want to steer clear of that area. Allison?